Anyway, that's <coughs> that's fiction. And I think this is probably uh, maybe still in the land of fiction, edging towards fact. When the when the newspapers and the magazines and the books talk about you and little girls, right? Is there anything in it? Well, I I like young women. Let's put it this way. I think most of men do actually. Yeah, but the question the question turns on how young, doesn't it? Well, yes. Well, here you come to a to a concrete. Uh, um, case for which I have been <coughs> uh, behind the bars, and that's what you want to talk about it. I'm well, glad you left it for 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 coffee, you know, for the coffee. Uh, but uh, what exactly would you like me to tell you? Um, <coughs> I, w I want you to know what happened that night. But you want the 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 the, the, the nitty gritty? There, no, I don't want the nitty gritty. I don't want the nitty gritty. That was the last thing I it want. It wasn't night. It was an afternoon. No. It was. Uh, uh, I was about to make um, um, a series of photographs of uh, young girls of uh, that age for um, um, a, a French magazine called called Vogue Homme, and. Uh, I found it quite an interesting um, enterprise because I like the girls of this age and uh, because the girls of that age for some reason like me. And just it went a little bit too far, one of those uh, on, on, on the session with this girl. And um, uh, it happened one afternoon when I was, uh, after I photographed her. Um, the next day or two, no, day after, I was uh, uh, stopped at uh, the lobby of the hotel where I was staying in Los Angeles by a, uh, a man who identified himself as a um, Los Angeles policeman. Uh, I was then booked and the proceedings started. Um, after almost a year of um, tremendous uh, struggle and hardship, as you can probably imagine, and you may remember of being on every page of every possible newspaper and magazine. Eventually, the judge who uh, uh, was in charge of the case <coughs> decided to send me to a, 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 a prison in California for so-called um, psych psychiatric evaluation. So I went to a Chino prison and uh, the judge uh, told the, uh, my lawyer and the district attorney that he hopes that that report will be positive and uh, that I will get the probation. And it was, wasn't it? You came out it after 42 days with a positive... It was very positive and then he called it a whitewash. So he found some other uh, provision under which he could put me back and then decide when I will be released. And at that time, I thought there was no more point of endure it. And I uh, uh, just left, as you know. Yeah. That was quite a splash. Granted that you have this interest in, in young girls. Mm -hmm. And it never concealed, really, the fact you have an interest in young girls. Wasn't an incident like the one that happened more or less bound to happen eventually? Well, looking back at it, it probably uh, was bound to happen, yes. It was bound to happen. Um, <clears throat> although, on my part, it was <clears throat> uh, done with all innocence. Uh, I have to point out that the girl <clears throat> uh, has had um, testified before the grand jury to uh, previous <clears throat> sexual experiences. Uh, she told me how far back it was. I, it's no point of talking about it, but there is a fact that there were other men in her life and uh, that nobody else had the same problems that I had, which means that, uh, again, as you said, my profiles may be such that attracts more attention. Of, you know, if it was uh, somebody absolutely unknown to the press or to, to the public, he may have not had the same problems. Most of people in the state of California are guilty of the similar crime since the age of consent in that state is 18. Yeah. 
and it's very difficult to find someone who did not have a sexual experience uh, uh, before reaching this age. So uh, that means that uh, there are a lot of low bro uh, breakers. Uh, well, with me it was a bit more extreme, of course, because the girl was uh, two weeks short of 14. But if you have yes. seen her uh, sitting here next to me, you wouldn't be particularly shocked by it. As a matter of fact, you would find it completely normal. But I'd be particularly concerned to find out how old she was. And you actually did know. You actually did yeah, know. Yeah, I knew, I knew. I knew she was 14 because she was talking about her birthday before that. Doesn't the age of consent mean precisely that? That under a certain age, whatever age it may be, it doesn't matter if the girl says yes or not, or wants to or not, that you're supposed not to because it's... Yes, I know. I know. In that particular state. That's, uh, again, no, a question of... You know, <clears throat> everywhere in the West has got some sort of age. No, but you see, if you, if you think of the United States, there are st the states when the age of consent is 12 mm. in the United States. Mm. So you, you see, and there are other countries where, you know, it varies from country to uh, country to country. Yes, indeed, you know, that's, uh, well, uh, it's very easy to say it now when you should have thought about it before. But if you find yourself with a girl in a certain situation, you don't exactly thing of it. Here again, I mean, the press, and I, I can see there's a, there's a, an element of victimization in what the press did after, after that incident. But even then, you know, the, press has, the press has got a lot to work on. If they want to make life impossible for you in California and try and influence the court, when uh, you, you, if you're self-confessedly interested in young girls or you get yourself photographed with them, which you did, which, which ha actually happened mm -hmm. after the Okay, so if you went back, wouldn't you be just within, crucified? Wouldn't you within just be crucified? the limits of the law, of course, after that, you know. I'm, be, I'm very careful now. Right, but yeah, I'm, I'm talking if it came to court. What do you call the young girls? I mean, everybody well, else goes you, with young girls. Go to any nightclub, restaurant, you'll see I'll tell you what the, I mean the, by the young age girl. difference. What do you mean young girls? Because age is, age is everything. You mean children or you mean young age, girls? Age is everything. Because the law is about age, not about maturity or wisdom or future stardom. I'm talking yeah, like... Yeah, but in France it's 15, Okay, so it's in France that Nastasia Kinski becomes your next star, right? She's 15 years old, and the world, one way or another, finds out you're having an affair with her. Now, the, the fact that you're having an affair that with a 15-year-old... That was before, before. Yeah. But she that, was 15 before. But that you can get you 50 years in California. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, but not here. No, but if, you're, not if, in if, Germany. if the case comes to trial in California, all these things are going to... No, I can't get 50 years. I mean, this is, an, this is the, the nonsense that press writes about. What, 50 years? Just think. Come on, there were, in uh, that year, there were 20 or 19 cases in California itself of similar, uh, of similar nature. Nobody went to prison or only... I th uh, there were policemen and, and uh, uh, people in public service were, involved in the cases. You know? I did, because, there, you know, the, it was focused on me. Not that the press... It's, particularly nasty to me, they just try to make, uh, make the buck. The lunch is getting into a dinner now, and I just want to, uh, in case if you have in mind finishing this interview, I wanted to ask you whether you intend to end on this note, or do you think there's something more to my life than my relations with uh, young women? I uh, think there's a lot more to your life, otherwise I wouldn't be talking to you, and uh, certainly gonna, not going to end in this note, but it's a note that had to be struck. Yes, so I don't already... blame you for it. Of course, I was waiting for it. So you know, I, 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 I admire your, your courtesy of uh, leaving it for, coffee, for the coffee. If it had come with the foie gras, <laughs> I would have screwed the whole thing. Oh, yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, I'll change the note. I'll put a, a variation, a happier variation on the no, same. No, no, I don't want to, uh, um, to, 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 to shorten any kind no. of uh, no, interest on your part. No, I've asked... That particularly morbid. And I've the... asked what I came to ask about that question. But uh, another side, of, a happier side of the same question is, which you've already raised, actually, is why do women like you? They don't really like me so much. Let's not exaggerate, well, you know. They like me enough for me to get in tr into trouble. Some of them like you, you know, you're enough to dive into bed with you and what? on an almost instantaneous basis. I mean, no, what does that do for you? instantaneous, I think it's with everybody, you know, don't they? Does it flatter you that women, that women like you? Of course. But why do you need to be flattered so it much? It tickles I... my ego. I just, that's why I am where I am, but because the... I have this tremendous ego, you know. Yeah. To, maybe it has to do with my size, you know. It's, the well, five, six, you see. Do you think it Let's straighten it down, five, six, not <laughs> five, four. <laughs> There's something you do in your book, which I wouldn't do in, in a book, for the sake of caution, for, for wisdom and for sanity. Uh, and it's something you do that, I, in my experience, only men who are trying to prove themselves do. You name the names. 
When I go through your book, I find that the only thing the William Morris Agency ever did for you, for example, is it got you laid by Carol Lindley. I think that's a very, very funny joke. But, you know, are you sure that Carol Lindley will be pleased to see her name there? Well, they talk more about her. Carol Lindley is a lovely girl. I mean, I still... Oh, I don't doubt it. I still mm. have great uh, souvenirs mm. of not only that... Um, that night uh, uh, of uh, the, the Academy Awards, but uh, this uh, subsequent uh, friendship that sprang from that uh, encounter. I used to see Carol a lot, and we were great friends for years. I don't think she would really uh, did you ask hold her it again. Did you ask her first before you put her in the book? No, I didn't. Could, would you... Strangely enough, as you know, the books, before they are published, they are being dissected by all kinds of lawyers and advisors. No one had objection concerning that, that, that paragraph. Well, I don't think it's libel. Uh, you, I don't think you can libel anyone by saying you've been to bed with them, if you have. I see. But it's, it's a question of manners. Or is it, it used to be called, is, well, it, is this the act of a gentleman? <laughs> maybe the women... Are you a gentleman, Roman? Well, you know, talking about things like that, 20 years later, it, it can hardly be called ungentlemanly well, she act. Might, she might think it's a beautiful secret. And I could think there are other, other girls in the book. I suppose I'm doing the same thing if I name them. But just let me refer in passing to, to Jacqueline Bissett. And uh, there are half a dozen others that I temporarily forget. The, na the, the names are there. It's really, is it, isn't it kiss well, and tell? A, well, I've never told before. I think there is enough perspective. And I think I have... Uh, um, reached a certain position in life when such things are, are can be uh, such such sins can be overlooked. Well, let's hope that the ladies in question agree with you. I well, let's hope. <laughs>